Hey, little bird, look at that. It's Daphne. Hello, gaming world, and welcome to Corvin. Well, this is where our adventure begins. And we are a guy from like a more modern world, I guess. Looks like we're thrust into something kind of medieval-ish, I guess. From the way it read on the uh, site. But this is a pre-alpha game that you can download for free. Let's walk over here. Right click to turn camera. Left click. Single and or double click. For what? To interact. Okay. C for character sheet. Quest log, etc. I for inventory. Health is in the top left corner and mana. And our hot uh, bars down at the bottom. And we'll see what we got. Okay, we have a fire damage spell and a freeze spell. We got a um, health potion on one. And we will put this on four. And we got 500 gold. So, we'll close that. Up. This is the character sheet. We have nothing that we're wearing right now. And this is the way you get in and out of the game and or save the game. So, everything looks... All well and fine, but we got to go find us some clothes. Ah, oh, the man stands up. You see a charismatic old man with a long white beard and white hair. His eyes express confidence and warmth and you get an overwhelming feeling that you can trust this man. Greetings! I have been waiting for you for a very long time. He smiles at you. I am sure you will have many questions. And we answer him by these down below here. Either where am I, who are you, for a long time, but I don't know you. Let's just start off with a few questions. Where am I? This is the island... Uh, Verowen. This world you are in is called... Bythoria. It changes names throughout time. But this is the name it is known by now. And then, uh, well, who are you? My name is Frederick, but everyone calls me Fred. <laughs> okay. For a long time, but I don't know you. But I know you. Well, in a way, at least. See, Corvin, the Time Lord, told me about you and your arrival. Time Lord? Yes, he is a peculiar fellow. Very wise. Very powerful, but also very, well, strange. He sent you here. Sent here? But I just stumbled into that, um, gate thing. Well, you might think you just ended up going through the moon gate, but it was planned by the Time Lord. 
He wanted you to come to our world, both for our sakes and for yours. For your sakes and mine? Yes, you are here for a reason. Well, for two reasons, actually. You had the chance to get your life in order by helping us with our lives. The Time Lord knows that you didn't live your life on your world in a way you had wanted to. And this here is your chance to become everything you ever wanted to be. This is your chance to redeem yourself. Boy, I wish we had that in real life. Mm -mm -mm. I'd step through quite a few gates. <laughs> How can I redeem myself in this, this uh, dream? Oh, this is no dream. You might not understand what is happening. Not yet, but the Time Lord knows what he is doing. He hasn't failed us so far, and I doubt he will fail you. He has chosen you to help this world. Brythoria. Be whole again. Doing so will make you whole again as well. This is what the Time Lord told me, and I have no reason to doubt him. What? Does he not save this world? Why does he not save this world himself? That's a good question. Hey, <laughs> wait. That's what he said. That is a good question. The answer is complicated, but I'll try to explain. The Time Lord is very powerful, but his powers have limits. He knows many things, even some things which haven't even happened yet, but he cannot directly influence happenings in this world. He can choose a champion, an avatar to do the work that must be done. He can guide this avatar. He can help him in little ways. Oh, sir, continue. Help him by, for example, having me lead you in the right direction. But he cannot interfere directly. Don't ask me why. I don't fully understand it myself, but that's the way it is. His powers are limited here, but it is not limited in some other worlds. I believe in the world you came from, he has more freedom to act. Continue. As far as I understand it all, this world here, Brythoria, plays a central role in the whole universe. What happens here has consequences on many other worlds, including yours. Consequences? It's up to you to find out and make the best of this chance you have been given. Whether you like it or not, you are the Time Lord's avatar. And it lies in your hands to save this world and yourself. What do I need to do? Wasting no time, huh? He laughs heartedly. Good, good. First of all, you should get some armor. I don't have much, but in my hut, you will find an old leather armor set. Take it. It's yours. Take my old sword, too. There is no magic left in it, but it is a decent sword either way. Actually, Take whatever you find useful from my house. You'll need it more than I do. Thank you. And then, sir? Then you should go down to the village of Vela. It's just down the hill. Talk to the mayor, Margaretha. She will need your help. Oh. I almost forgot. Here is the key to my hut. He smiles. Goodbye. Oh, do we have the key? 
Yes, we do. So I guess we go here. This is his hut, huh? Click on it, then go in, and then... Well, come on in. Let's take that, and that. You can interact with a lot of stuff from what I understand. Yeah, let's turn around and look at stuff. Red's armor. Pick up. Okay. So we can't stool. Okay, you double click stuff, you can move it around. Okay. Well, can't do the cup and stuff. I'm just seeing how easy it is to move stuff around and whatever. Nothing on top up there. So, well, those are some pretty crows. All right, well, let's check out our armor now. Oh, nice. Let's see what we got here. We got some boots. We got some gloves. Where did they go? Right there? Yes. Well, I see a wolf outside already. We got a coat here. I guess that goes there. We got some pants uh, down here. And we have a sword. It goes right there. Well, that's a big sword, ain't it? Well, that's fine by me. Maybe it'll help me from getting annihilated. There we go. Well, let's go outside. All right. Now, do we go across the bridge or do we go down the road? Let's see. Let's see what's over here. This is a beautiful game, by the way. Oh, well, something's up in there, ain't it? Let's see what's around here. Okay, I just wanted to see if anything would kind of pop up, you know? So nothing's popping up there. So I guess we could run down the hill like this. But that ain't no fun. Let's, let's go on back. Go across the bridge. Go, oh, come on. This way. Alright. Uh, how do we get the weapon in our hand? Oh, we got a... Hmm. Weapons. Oh, it don't show that there. Okay. Uh, well, what do we do? Do we... Uh, do we take something off, maybe, and... Like, put the sword here? No, we can't put the sword there. Well, we'll have to see how fighting goes, won't we? Let's do a quick save. Empty on one. Yes. Okay. Alright, you got to remember this is pre-alpha. There's a lot of stuff that's not ready in the game yet. There's a lot of stuff that has not been added. Left click on enemy for standard attack. Two and three for test spells. Okay. We can do that. I'm used to something following a mouse. Let's see what happens here. Well, um, 
let's do uh oh he's walking away a little bit uh we'll do number two Oh, we going to get him. We ain't going to need nothing. Oh, nice. And gold. How much gold did we get? Come on, get out of my way. 35. So nothing else laying here, huh? All right. Well, we are going to use our spell. Looks like it's lighting up. Okay. If you don't know what to do next, check the quest log. Press C and click on quest. The road signs will help you too. Okay. Well, let's go on. Just some logs. Oh, somebody over here. You see a calm and friendly looking man in front of you. He balances the sword on his shoulder. Greetings, stranger, he says cheerfully. Name. My name is Cabarrus, he says proudly. Job. I am a fighter. I come from the town of Trini. I guess that's it. His expression turns serious. I stranded on this island here. <laughs> we'll say I'm stranded on this island here. Stranded? Yes, I came here by ship with my friend dark moon, but shortly before we arrived, a gigantic kraken attacked our ship and sunk it. A kraken? Oh, it was not ordinary kraken. It was bigger than our ship, and it had this uh, blue glow to it. It was the strangest thing I have ever seen in my life. And I have seen a lot of things. Let's ask about Dark Moon. He is in the pub, drinking ale. I prefer a good wine, he laughs. <laughs> oh, well, we done answered that. Blue go glow. I don't have the right words to describe it. I guess you need to see it to believe it. Margaretha. Oh, the mayor. I think she is up at the cemetery. Followed a road sign by the bridge here to find it. Tragic thing that happened, he says, shaking his head. What happened? Two people got killed. That's all I know. Better talk to her about it. All right. Goodbye. Well, oh. We can turn it on and off, huh? Well, when it gets dark, we might have to turn it on. Oh, wait. Can we go in this house? Oh, no, no, no. Goodbye. Use. Uh-huh. Dev note. Shops include bars. Not yet implemented. Okay. Oven. Bacon bread. Not implemented yet. Okay. Well, it's pre-alpha, so we can understand a bit of that. Dark moon. Oh, okay. You see a man who seems to be very bored. He has a hard time not to fall asleep at the table. Greetings. Are you stranded on this forsaken island too? You can 
clearly hear frustration in his voice. Name, well, we know that. Cartman. Well, that's actually my family name, but since my whole family is dead, I use it as my only name. Well, dead family. They died in a fire. I don't really feel like talking about that right now. I asked him about his job. I am the scribe of the town of Tra Trainick. He looks proud. I am the best dang scribe out there. And now I'm stuck here in Verowen. His disdain for the island is very apparent. Mm hmm. Scribe? Yeah. But I am also an incredible staff fighter. Give me a stick and I'll flatten the whole battalion. He jugged some more ill. Stranded? Our boat got attacked by a gigantic, wild, glowing kraken. Oh, kraken! He shouts. And you notice that he must have had a bit too much to drink. And you say, what happened? A kraken! And you say, how did you survive? Pure luck. We swam to shore and are stuck here ever since. He mumbles. Verowen is such a beautiful island. You can find so much nightshade there. He lets out a deep sigh. Uh, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Uh-oh. A pot? Move it. Stick it in your pocket, buddy. You might need a pot to eat. <laughs> Put a pot on this dish. <laughs> All right. Anything else in here? Whoa. That turns a little too fast. Well, we can't play that. We can't get no more stuff there. Nothing there. Oh. Click over here. Not implemented yet, so we can't do nothing there. Well, let's click out here. And go on about our business. Oh, cemetery on hilltop. Okay, <laughs> instead of an arrow pointing, it just says on hilltop. Let's go on up. Oh, here's somebody. Oh, that's Dor that's a uh, Mar Margarita. Come on, talk to me. The woman addresses you with a somber look. Greetings, I have not seen you around here, and since our boat route is cut off, can it be? She blinks, and a hopeful expression rushes over her face. Did you come through the portal? Yes, and Fred sent me here to find Margaretha. Her eyes light up. By the virtues, I can't believe it. You are the first good thing that happened here in a while, she smiles. Fred said I should help you. The Time Lord hinted at the possibility that he might send help. I am so glad you were here. We are plagued with two extraordinary problems. The expression on her face darkens. What problems? She raises her eyebrows. It says he is doing it. Her eyebrows. First you see these two bodies there. Or those two bodies there. They were slain by something that must have come out of the forest. They say they saw some wolf creature roaming about. I have not seen it, but I have no reason not to believe them. A wolf creature? They said it was no ordinary wolf. It was bigger. Something out of a nightmare. 
We need to get rid of whatever killed those poor people. Cash, our ranger, is out there, but he had no luck yet. Please talk to Isabel, Isabella over there. She points to the woman in the white dress. Isabella? Isabella is Brendor's wife. Brendor was one of the victims of the creature. She said he told her about the creature. Maybe she can give you some more information. Something that might help you find the creature. And the other problem? As I said, our boat route has been cut off. Some kind of sea creature is destroying any boat that tries to come to our island or leave it. He shakes her head in anger. We are completely cut off from the mainland. There might be another way out, but it is blocked. Another way? Yes, but forgive me for being cautious. She averts her eyes from you. I will tell you more about that once you get rid of that immediate danger. The killer who did this. She points to the mutilated corpses. Please talk to Isabella. She says with desperation, okay? And I will find the killer. I have no interest in helping you. I, I will, and I will find the killer. Thank you! She is hopeful and smiles. I know you will be successful. The Time Lord sent you after all. And goodbye. All right. Oh, my health is down a bit, ain't I? I thought it would kind of automatically click up. Hello, Isabella. That's a pretty name. The young woman in front of you looks very sad. Oh, she's beautiful. I tell her what Margaretha said. She tries to compose herself. I am sorry. I just can't believe he is gone. We just started our life together. She starts crying again. Did Brenda tell you anything before he died? He was obsessed with that creature. He said he saw outside our house a few days ago. He said he saw it looking through our window and he ran outside to chase it away. When he came back, he told me it ran towards the swamp forest. Swamp forest? Yes, that cursed little patch of land to the west. I never liked being close to it. Last night, Brendor chased the creature away again, but this time he never returned. Girl came back. She starts crying again. Her whole body is shaking. Try to console yourself. Before you can say anything else, she turns around and runs, shouting in despair. I don't want to live without him. And Oh, mercy. Oh, jeez, what in the world? I hope I don't have to fight that. <laughs> well, let's see. What can we check out up here? Anything? Can I go save the girl? Uh, that was a big dude. Monster that come up here. From out of that hole down there. Uh, no, it won't let me go down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to even try right now. <laughs> Nothing over here? Nope. Well, let's see. Nothing else around. Goodness. Get over here to Margarita. She stares in horror at the cliff. I can't believe. I cannot believe Isabella jumped. And did you see that creature? How did it not know? How did it know that she would be there? Something is wrong here. Very, very wrong. 
creature. It must be the same creature which is destroying the ships. It looks exactly like the two strand, what the two stranded men described it. I couldn't believe it when they told me. She shakes her head in disbelief. Stranded men. You should find them in the pub. That's where I last saw them. She lowers her head, obviously grief-stricken by what she just witnessed. Did she tell you anything? Swamp Forest. Yes, our ranger Cash is looking there too. See if you can find him there. The road sign in the village beside my house will point you to the right direction. Just follow the road towards the Swamp Forest. Cash has his hut near that road too. I will find the creature. Thank you. I wish you all the luck in the world. You might not know yet what you represent, but trust me when I tell you, we need you now more than ever. And goodbye. Well, let's go down this hill. And head into town. I done talked to them two people over there, so... I presume that I can, since I done talk to them, I can probably go on into the town over here. Oh, can we go up here? Use. Oh, that is locked. Okay. Oh, that ain't got a rope on it. Uh, we better set it right down there before it falls in the well. Of course, it don't look like the well is very deep. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's nothing in here. Nope. We didn't see nothing. Let's go outside. Any uh, health potions or anything around? Nothing, huh? Well, let's go back outside. Oh, swamp forest. Let's go up through there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, doggone it. Aha! There you go. A bit of fire. Never hurt anyone. Except the one you were attacking. Okay. Now let's go up here. See if there's anything in there. Dev note. Shops including bars not yet implemented. Okay. So there's nothing in here yet either. So I can say it's a pre-alpha. They're building it. But I've got to see what's over here before I end this. More wildlife like deer in final game. Well, I would hope so. Come on, keep going. I'll zoom back out a little bit so we can get a, a look around and feel. Uh, who's this? What does that say? Well, Swamp Forest, that's going that way. I don't talk to this guy. Oh, that's Cash. You see a man who seems to be a ranger. He looks frustrated. Greetings, who are you? My name is Cash. Creature? So Margaretha sent you. Yeah, I am tracking this beast. It's in that cave over there in the swamp forest. Beast? I am quite certain it is a werewolf. I have not seen one of those in a very long time. But a few weeks ago, I noticed something, some 
excuse me, I noticed strange footprints, and once, late at night, I saw him. Cave. Just keep following the road, and after the small bridge, turn left and go down to the big swamp lake. The cave is behind it, but you won't get far in there. He looks frustrated. Won't get far. Somehow that beast raised a magical barrier. He curses under his breath. I hurt my leg trying to destroy it. As far as I know, there is only one sure way to destroy it. How? You need a ether amber. And as luck would have it, I know a man who most likely has one. His name is Arlick. He told me about those ambers and their powers, but now he denies even knowing what it is. He won't talk to me. Oh, what can we do? I tried everything to get through that barrier. No chance without an amber. I don't see any honorable way to get that amber. This house in the village, he always has his door locked. Yeah, I know that one. So you will know which one is his. Lock. Yes, if he is not home, you can find him at the beach behind his house. Just walk down to the rock formation at the beach there. Talk to him. Maybe he listens to you. If not, then see if you can get the key another way. He must have it with him. And then, there must be an ether amber in his house. Get it and bring it to me. I will add nightshade paste, which together with the amber will cause a reaction on the barrier and it will be disintegrated. Okay, I will get the amber. Let's, let's use a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We ain't got no more? Okay. That's right, I took them out, didn't I? Okay. Well, we'll use a, a number one and fill up a little bit, and we'll use a number four. Oh, wow, that fills us all the way up, don't it? All right, well, let's go. Wow, that mouse is strong. Let's run through the forest a bit right here or the grassy land that's a pretty green we know which house it is we just buzz on by everything behind it oh okay that's the river there aha we can see inside of it if we get it in the right spot Oh, it quits. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, I thought he was bare chested. He's got a shirt on, or does he? I don't know. You see a man who seems relaxed, but he feel that there is something brooding behind the cabin fos the calm facade. Are you with our king? Wait a minute. Are with with our king? He asked, which obviously disdain in his voice, disdain in his voice. Who is your king? He looks puzzled for a moment, but quickly recovers. An imposter, a liar, he shouts angrily. That's who he is. This is not our king. Our king is either dead or he has been taken. The dictator of the throne is a puppet. What makes you think that? 
his demeanor, demeanor suddenly changes. Don't waste my time. Hop along, sheep. I am not here for your entertainment. Huh. End of dialogue. Well, that ain't helping me one bit. Oh. Well, give me that key. And I won't tell you nothing. Goodbye, fine sir. Guess what? We are going to your house. You can like it and or lump it. <laughs> ah, opens right up. Ooh, we get a mana potion. Oh, interact. Locked. Oh, there's a switch. Interact. Let's see what we can find down here. <laughs> that kind of, I thought it just ended. A health potion. Health potion. Oh, ether amber. Nice. Pick it up. Get Alex Ether Amber to what's his name? Parchment. I know they are all liars. They lie to me. They lie to the common people. They lie to themselves thinking they do it for the greater good. I am not an idiot. Now they ban Ether Embers for the greater good. Nonsense. I will hide every ember I come across and keep them until I know why they really don't want us to have them. Okay. Oh, a health potion. Another parchment. Now they are trying to keep us on this island. Demonic sea creatures are destroying ships, they say. I don't believe them, especially our king, that imposter. If I had the means to set sail and get off this island, I would. But it seems I am trapped. Trapped by lies. At least it is not yet a crime to, re to leave the house. I will enjoy this beautiful nature here as long as I can, especially the beach. If they keep this up much longer, I will have to use my poison. I will have to get rid of everyone who stands in my way. Let's hope they come to their senses. Okay. Anything else? What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, well. Can't pick that up or nothing, so. Well, there's nothing else to get in here. But we have done come. Let's climb and get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we're just going to stand at the well here and save the game. And we're going to thank everybody for being with us. And this is a look at uh, Corbin. And I like it. I mean, I don't, I'll be glad when everything else gets in the game and stuff. But I really like it and I hope you all do too. But all like, share, subscribe, favorites, and comments are welcome. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like what you see, please hit that like button and ring that bell. And uh, as always, uh, well, to, to tell you this, I'll play another. When we come back, we'll carry the amber on over to, uh, um, uh, what's his name out there? at the forest and let him put his concoction on there and we'll see what happens but for right now bless you and everybody have a great fantastic day thanks